Muffin always knows what to do. Oh, but this is serious, Doris. Well, if Muffin can't help, I don't know who can. Muffin? Muffin! Muffin! Oh, Muffin, good morning. It is, isn't it? Lovely day. Well, it wouldn't be Muffin if we didn't have a bit of a problem. It's our armchairs. They're all falling to bits, Muffin. We need new ones. And we don't know where to get any. Well, you can leave this to me, Morris. Doris, I'll put my thinking cap on and see what I can come up with. Oh, thank you, Muffin. You can always rely on Muffin. Oh, yes. Muffin and his thinking cap. He'll think of something. Oh, what a wonderful thing to be A great big beautiful bird like me A big so big he's been eating every clicky And the feathers all off the ice ball eating Oh, what a wonderful... What is that wonderful... fearful noise? Hello, Louise. Uh, you don't mean my singing by any chance? Uh, that was my new song about what fun it is to be a bird If you're a bird, Oswald, why can't you fly? Well, I can. I can fly like anything. Well, go on then. All right then. I will. <laughs> See? Like I said. You can't fly. I can. And I will. You'll see. <laughs> so I thought you very little know about flying, and that's why I'm here to see if you do know about flying. Oswald, my dear ostrich, you have come to the right bird. There isn't a great deal I don't know about flying. <laughs> or anything else come to that. Oh, so you'll teach me then? No. Oh. You're an ostrich, Oswald, and like we penguins, you and your ilk have very sensibly opted for the non-flying approach to birdhood. Uh, um... But, oh, if you wish to take the skies, my dear Oswald, there are ways and means of doing so. Eh, uh, does that mean you can help me to fly? Uh, precisely so! All that is required is a little planning. <laughs> now then... <clears throat> There! What do you make of that? Uh, what's that? We'll soon have you flying like a bird! Uh, that's going to help me fly? Just as soon as you sit in that. Oh. Well, if you're sure... What happened? Are you all right? Well, I'm all right. My kennel isn't. And I'm not too sure about Oswald either. I flew. <laughs> Did you see me flying? That wasn't flying. It was crashing right into my kennel. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I do seem to have made a bit of a mess of it, don't I? <sighs> and Peregrine said I was going to fly. Ah, so Peregrine had a hand in this, eh? Well, a flipper, he invented this machine and I got into this slingy thing and way I flew through the air and bang, I, uh, uh, sort of crashed. Well, I think Peregrine had better put you up until I get your kennel mended. Well, oh, better get started. 
Nice cup of tea, Morris, dear. Oh, yes, Tar, dear. Tar muchly indeedio. Nothing like a nice cup of tea. Ah! Oh, Morris! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all right, dear. No bones broken. Oh, but the chair is. Yes, it is, isn't it? I think I'd better go and see whether Muffin's had any bright ideas about some new ones. Muffin? Muffin! Are you there? Oh, just typical. You ask a small favour and what happens absolutely... Brilliant! Oh, oh. Doris! He's come up trumps! Muffin's got our new armchairs! Of course, they'll need a bit of upholstering, but you're a whiz with a needle and thread, aren't you, dear? Oh, yes. I'll soon have these looking splendidly doo Isn't Muffin kind? Oh. oh, this is even harder work than I thought. Think I'll call it a day. Finish it off tomorrow. Peter will be all right at Peregrine's. And so you see, Peter, the term igloo from the Eskimo igloo, meaning house, is related to igluik, a town, and igluir miyut. <laughs> I'm not boring you, am I, Peter? Hmm? Oh, oh, no, no. Good. As I was saying, these dome-shaped domiciles are used only in the area between the Mackenzie River Delta and Labrador. Ooh. Oh, look out, bed. Here I come. Oh. Mm. Hang on. Did the caravan... <laughs> no. No, it's just my imagination. <gasps> oh. Oh, it is. It's moving. Oh, it's running away. And then additional blocks are added to the spiral. Oh, sorry, Peregrine. I can't listen to any more. Muffin might have at least got the roof of my kennel finished. No, no, I, I'm all right, really. Just a little shaken, that's all. And right now I'd better go and find my caravan. Can't understand how it ran away like that. No, no, very unusual, most unfortunate. Not at all like you to make a mistake with your brakes like that. Oh, the caravan doesn't have brakes, Morris. There's just these blocks of wood under the wheels. They must have come loose or something. <laughs> oh. Oh, a muffin. Tar ever so for the new armchairs. They're just the tickety boo. Armchairs? What up? Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot clean about them. No, you didn't, Muffin. They're here. A little less bouncy than the last ones, but lovely just the same. Uh, I think I might just have made a little mistake. Oh, Morris, how could you? I'm sorry, I didn't realise. Well, I think you'd better keep them. You've made such a lovely job of upholstering them, Doris. <laughs> oh, thank you, Muffin. Isn't that nice, Morris? Yes, but what about your chocks? Oh, I can find another couple of chocks somewhere. If I ever find my caravan again. <laughs> well! Would you look at that? <laughs> Muffin's certainly been working hard. It's uh, interesting. Doesn't look much like a kennel, but that's because it's a caravan. An upside down caravan. And we'll deal with your kennel and my caravan in the, in the morning. Oh. Night, night, Peter. Night, Muffin, and thanks. <laughs>